Uh, first off, Margaret, uh, Julie, an honor to be talking to the two of you. Nobody can done, can, you know, nobody more perfect to do this, to adapt this than the two of you. I mean, I love everything you, that you guys have done through careers. So congratulations and thank you for your time. Thank, thank you. Thank you. you. <laughs> thank you. I, when, I, when I started seeing the episodes, I was like, this is Bridgerton mix, obviously the vampire, there is a bit meets blade, and we, have, we have a lot of action. And one of the things that I love the most is because we're on pickup, we're on, we're on streaming service, even though the two of you have always known how to push the limits to how much we can, how much from the first book was adapted to, you know, translated to the, to the series in, into, and how far were you able to take it? Those limits. Well, we're what we are saying, and and this is to avoid being a little spoilery. Um, is <clears throat> if you've read all six books of Vampire Academy, you will likely see most of the things that you love the most from those six books happen at some point in the series of Vampire Academy. Uh, you might see something that you thought was happening in in book six happen in up in season one and vice versa. So we play with timeline a little bit. We're having a little bit of fun in the way that we are telling the story, but all the important elements that uh, were rendered so beautifully in the book by Rochelle Mead that, um, <coughs> excuse me, those will likely all be there. But great, you I'm wanted so to add something? Uh, yeah. <coughs> Forgive me. I'm just gonna take a, a sip, little of, sip water. of water. There you go. Do you wanna add something, Margaret? Uh, yeah, I would just say, yes, we had great, obviously, these beautiful set of books to 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 jump into. And like you said, it was a great sandbox to play in. And I felt very um, supported and loved by the studio and network, like trusting. I mean, if you have Julie Plec adapting a vampire show and you don't trust her, it seems silly. So obviously, they were very trusting of us. But also, they uh, everybody let us kind of like find our way with it and tell the story we wanted to tell, which is very respectful to the books, but kind of in our own unique spin so it, it was a good process the uh the series obviously had acted to the times i think it's a perfect time to to, to put the series out because it's, it talks to some it talks about something that is really real today how much of how much of of, of the characters were just something that you were trying you were taking out from not from the book but from reality itself how much of the characters how, how much of the characters were just okay let me adapt this and put this in the character that is just going on in real life right now well i actually think it was all in you even said the books are a little bit prescient it's all in the books this is a class system that is starting to fray in these books that people are starting to look at wait why is this operating this way is this fair what's going on here so it was all intrinsic in the books we maybe heightened some stuff here and there but we we i think it was there and then we just kind of like uh, use what was there, use the characters, use the character drives to tell that story, but kept it really grounded in Rose and Lissa, their friendship and what this story is doing to, to these two friends who the world doesn't want to be friends. So what does that mean and how do they fight for their friendship? And then in fighting for their friendship, fight for a better society. Did you want to add something? Uh, no, I, I, uh, what we were having a lot of fun doing when we contemporized this and, and put it on the page was making sure that it reflected the world that we live in and celebrated communities within the world that we live in, even as we're telling a story in a mythical community. Um, so we had a lot of fun just adding a modern, a modern voice to that as well. Yeah. I like that answer. Um, one final question, maybe I want to talk about the action scene and having women being empowered to, you know, be badasses, which is something that I'm always very vocal about, and I absolutely love what you guys did. Um, how important was for you guys to translate that as as as, as much as you can, for having those actors do their, their 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 action scenes? How important was that to you know to be, to put the spotlight on it on the on the on the series? Well, I grew up in the television uh, fangirl community of. Buffy and Sydney Bristow, uh, and you know I, I like a young woman that likes to that likes to fight. So for <laughs> me, there was no question about uh, the show was going to have lots of really really intense stunt sequences, fight sequences. We built our own language for the fights. Um, we trained all the actors and actresses uh, multiple times a week. They were in physical training, learning all the different movements and the different fighting techniques, uh, and to have Rose specifically be 
one of the best Dampier guardians in or novices in her class to have her be a fierce fighter to be a leader that people look up to ultimately was so important not just to honor the character in the books but to create a really strong female uh, yeah, heroine yeah. at the center of the series you want to add something on that no, I completely agree with that. And also, I think our actors did a great job. You can see when you watch the show, very they they really did all of their stunts. Very often, you're seeing a whole stunt all the way through with our actors. They 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 killed it. That you just nailed it. Head. They killed it. That, that that translates so well on the on the episode. And I absolutely loved it. I, I want to thank you the, the three of you for your time. And it was amazing what you guys got. Think I'm glad that you uh, see, see uh, Julie doing her thing. I mean, I absolutely love the Vampire Diaries and, and, and the originals, and I think you guys are the, the queens when it comes oh, to thank you. Oh, thank you. No, I'm not, I'm not joking. It's not joking. No. Not, oh, that's it means a lot. It means a thank lot. You thank you for your time. You.